Casma has been on a total tear, being one of the strongest coins this far in this cycle. Now, it is at a critical point where it could just blast off or we could be seeing some lower lows out of Caspa. Let me show you today my strategy for taking advantage of this move and how to catch it correctly. Welcome back to Road Dog Crypto. My name is Lane, and today we are talking about Caspa ticker symbol KAS. What an amazing, an amazing project. At its current price right now, just right under five cents, it looks poised to go up to nine or 10 cents, but will it? And if it does, how will you enter that trade? And for those of you that don't know about Caspa, let's just take a quick look at the tokenomics and what makes this coin so special. Then we'll get into the charts and we will talk about when is the best time to go in and how to execute those orders. Caspa is a hot new mining coin, mineable, proof of work, which I happen to really like. Now the maximum supply is 28 billion and that is quite a lot that's on the terms with cardano and we can expect some price movement kind of like that cardano i believe is almost about twice as many somewhere around 40 billion now currently circling supply for this coin is 20.7 billion so the majority of the coins are out there they have been mined they have been put out and the total market cap is sitting at 1 billion which is kind of high but this is a hot new coin with a lot of hot new promises now we take a look at the Casper website. Casper is the fastest open source, decentralized and fully scalable layer one in the world. The world's first block DAG, a digital ledger enabling parallel blocks and instant transaction confirmation. And one of the coolest things about this is that we had a fair launch and that is one of the major driving points behind Casper, a fair launch just like Bitcoin. You don't see that often and those coins do have more value because of that. They're more equally distributed, more decentralized than a lot of the things that are offered, especially the proof of stake coins out there, right? So one of the reasons that I'm really hot on it is because it is proof of work. It is very important for me to say as we're looking at the tokenomics and some of the fundamentals on this project, they are very busy on GitHub and that's a sign that you always want to see with the project that they are building in the bear market, that they have a good roadmap established and they are meeting their goals along the way. As we go and check out the Casper website, and I encourage you to look at the white paper while you're over here, but looking at it, they have been completing their task wonderfully, sticking to the roadmap, doing their testing and their development. This chain is out to win. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the charts because I know that's what you want to talk about. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Lane and I am your crypto road dog to help navigate you through the confusing venues of crypto. Been in the game since 2013 myself and having studied daily for the almost past four years technical analysis, being through this rodeo a couple of times, I think I can give you a few pointers that might help you out. The conundrum that we are in with Caspa, we've been on fire, it's been on a tear. And if we check our indicators, our weekly chart is giving us a green light indicating that we could possibly go up. Here's the situation though. This is a rising wedge pattern. It has about a 70% chance to break to the downside. Very bearish pattern when we see it. Currently, we're getting to the top of this. Now, I got two different plays that we can do on Caspa. So for you traders and for you hodlers, I think what I'm going to share with you is very valuable information. In order for Caspa to go higher, we've got to break this high. And this is coming in at a Fibonacci retracement area that normally indicates top movements in great areas to short. Hence is why I've got my little short box up here because I'm looking at a possible short on Caspa. It in all likelihood should come up here to the top of this pattern and get rejected and come down to these lower areas that we'll talk about in a minute. However, considering the bullish nature of this and some of the things that are going on, there's another scenario that we do not want to ignore. And I'm going to tell you how to take advantage of that. That situation is that if things get bullish and they could, we are above the nine moving average on the weekly. That's technically very bullish for a strong uptrend. This could happen. Price could break above that 127 fib level. It's in there about, oh, 5.8 cents. If it does that, this thing will explode. And we're talking about at least a target up to 9.2 cents, possibly, possibly very much higher, as this is what creates parabolic movements when we break to the upside. It will take off like crazy. So the only trouble is, well, if you buy now anticipating that at these highs, well, you're buying the tops and that's just against the trading rule. Sorry, against the rules. And if it goes down this way and that does not happen, well, 
you are, my friend, are just watching your money go down the drain. We do not want that to happen. As your road dog, I just cannot let you jump in that situation. So here's what I recommend. This is a Fibonacci that I've drawn from the swing high to the swing low, and this is given our toppy price here at 0.512 cents. And that's the area we have not been able to get over. That's been the excellent short area to short from here, short from here, and possibly to short again, as we should find some failure in this area. Now, sure, it could go up. We could be looking at 5.5 cents and still be in our little short zone. So taking a short here, if you are doing some leverage trading and keep the very tight stop loss above is the safest way to enter a short. And I mean a very tight stop loss because, like I said, if it does get above this area, it has a high chance of going parabolic. Now, if we're trying to take advantage of a long, either on spot or on perpetuals, margin, whatever, best crypto opinion, as this is not financial advice, is to set what we call a conditional order or a trigger order. And these are available on most of your exchanges. Most of your good exchanges will have that. And what I would recommend that you do is at 0.058 at this area right here, one of two things. A, either set an alarm. You can draw a line, go up to your little alarm thing and just set one. And that way trading view or even your software that you're using on your exchange should provide this, will let you know when price gets to that level. And then you can manually buy in. Your other method is to put a trigger order where it will automatically execute should price come up here. That is your safest way to play this is to buy once that level is broken. Now, a lot of people recommend that you wait for a retest. The only problem is when you get to parabolic movements and it takes off, there's rarely ever that retest opportunity. And that's why my plan and what I'm doing is putting a trigger market order at that area, 0.058 area. And if we wick up to it, we got it. And should we get rejected there, I do. I can have a tight stop loss back below this 1272 area. Very important to use your stop losses if you want to be successful at trading either spot or with leverage. Now, let's talk for a minute what will happen should the normal scenario play out where price comes up here and gets rejected. Now, keep in mind, I'm on the weekly chart. If you find this video weeks later, you still may find this very active. But what I want to point out, what I want to point out here is that we do have a little bit of bearish divergence forming on these lower time frames. These prices are kind of going straight, but we do on our RSI, if I bring that up, this top to this top is coming down. And that is telling us that we are likely to get rejected at these areas. So that's why we got to be cautious about this. Now let's go to the daily and let's talk about the scenario if it does come down, because it is highly likely to do that, to get rejected here. The best places that I look for price to come back down to if it is rejected here, your first targets would be around 2.8 to 3.2 cents. However, there is also this bargain area, and I know it seems almost impossible to believe that this could happen to Caspa, but TA is not predicting. It is just going by the probabilities, and there is a probability if we lose this, normally this pattern brings price right back down to where it started. We could be looking at 0.016 to 0.02 cents in Caspa over the next few months should we get rejected here. So keep that in mind. The first targets will be this 200 daily moving average. If we break that, it's a great place to add to a position to build some bags in this for a long-term hold because this is one that you definitely want for long-term hold. I say that because Token Metrics loves cats, but it's one of their hot picks. I should have mentioned that in the beginning. They are recommending this for a great long-term hold and I happen to agree. And I think it's very important to point out that our indicators are bearish. Our stochastics are coming down. We got the red bearish dot on market cyber. The good thing we got going on is money flow in the green. So that's why we're watching this very carefully for a surprise move. It may come, it may not, but either way it goes, we can capitalize on where price is now. And just as you set a trigger order up here, you could also set a trigger order below this nine daily moving average at four and a half cents and short from there to these areas. So there is another technique that you can use to help you avoid from just jumping in now and just wondering, well, is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Getting stopped out, this and that. With the trigger orders, you can avoid that. Hopefully this information has been helpful to you. If it has, please leave a comment below. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Also, if you want to stay up to date on the Alpha, I do do live streams during the day and during the night. 
Daytime usually about noon 30, nighttime about 10 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you can join me there. Until next time, my name is Lane, your crypto road dog, helping you to navigate this crypto market and make that life changing money. You are in the market at the right time. Be blessed. You got this, baby. If you just stumble across the channel, it's probably because somebody hit that like button before. And for those of you who hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I, I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much.